Good kitty. Morning Zen. Morning Coco's messing with me. She keeps acting, watch. She keeps acting like she wants to go in the side room, you know? And then I open up the door and she runs away. It's Charlie. Yep, St. Pete, the mighty Skippy, the mighty Winnie. Yep, 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 yep. There's uh, Tunya and of course Sarge looking for a cookie. They've had their walks and cookies and each one had a little blanket out while I meditated and they all had to wait. And of course we got Cayenne and uh, he's still napping. <laughs> Such a little cute kitty. Chip has uh, taken up residence you know, because he gets more attention here. And then, uh, you know, we have Layla. We have Laundry. <laughs> yes! And uh, it's a great day. We um, There's Tom. He's taken up there. And, of course, Coco. She keeps messing with me this morning. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Yeah. Anyways, that's what's going on. And, of course, lovely Blister. Lovely blister. What a beautiful kitty she is. I love her. It is gorgeous out. It's hot and humid. Rain in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm now wearing the cool blue. And, uh, you know, we do have denim hats. We have hardy burgundy. We have lush green. Like I said, uh, earlier I was just wearing a smile. And, uh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Uh, I have my... Uh, Benadryl in the pocket for um, Prue because she's got a little hot spot and stuff. But these are the drugs. Nothing good. Um, but these are the drugs for um, uh, sugar and it's prednisone. She's had, oops, had her injections. And then we have doxycycline. We'll give uh, the prednisone once a day. Uh, um, once daily for 21 days, then every other day till gone. And the doxycycline 100 milligram tablets are uh, once a day until gone. Wednesday, uh, she's going in. To, they're going to see how everything looks. And then she's going to get her spay and, um, uh, you know, microchip and all that stuff. So we got a lot to do today. It's so dewy. Everything clumps up on the the right of mower. So anyways, Jay and Maria's coming in and they're going to go out. I, man, last night it was brutal. I had this dry mouth from hell uh, because of the, the, after the cancer and the radiation, it does that now. And I do the, got to do the tongue yoga. I do that. And then I got to swallow hard a bunch of times and everything. And there's proof a little hot spot on her tail we're gonna get that put some stuff on there and everything um you know keep it from you know give her give her some give my baby some some loving yes 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 oh my god oh my god look do -de do -de do 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 i love squishing their little nose you know we've spayed a couple of uh um raccoons and I love squishing their little noses, not the raccoons, uh, um, dogs' noses, but the, oh my God, the raccoons have such cute little feet. Uh, you know, I could squish their little feet all day long, uh, so long as they're under anesthesia and don't want to rip my face off. But uh, they're just so cute. Those and little, um, you know, um, oh yes, we're going to get you cookie. Those and the little, um, oh, possums. Uh, let me put this down, and I'm going to fix her up. Mm, 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 pill pockets. Yes, she loves her pill. You know, they, they have the large and small. I like to get the large because you can, you know, break them in half and coat a pill and put it in something else or a piece of bread, you know, just get the coating on it so they don't taste it. But, boy, I tell you. Once they taste something nasty. Here you go, Prue. Yes, yeah, you spilled your food. Yes. and uh, But anyways, we're going to get her all hooked, oh, 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 hooked up. And uh, Roxy's been for a walk. Sarge has been for, uh, Noah's been. Uh, they've all been, I have uh, like three left. But yeah, 
Here's Ivy. She's a good go stretch doggy yoga. Come on. There she is. And uh, with Prue, we have to do. From the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Pretty so. good, 85,000. Anyways, <laughs> I just leave it on for them to, you know, listen to somebody talking. And, and it's really good, you know, it takes out the night noises. And like the 4th of July, we turn it up and stuff like that. But we got a lot to do. Uh, some people coming in to do community service. Uh, the sunflowers, look at them. They are huge. Huge. I love it. I love it. I think this is the tallest year of sunflowers we've ever done. Michael Heinrich, this old German guy, had a chicken ranch down from us there in Cherry Valley. He grew them. And, you know, it's really super cool. He had some of the most beautiful sunflowers. Just huge. Giant leaves and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, that's what's going on. Got a lot of mowing and everything. And Maria's going to go out. Um, I've been up all night. I, I don't think I should drive all the way out there um, because of that dry mouth stuff. Just kept me up all night, and I don't want, don't want to wreck. But, anyways, we got a big day going on today. Let's go say hi to Grandpa. But uh, yeah, I got I was up, and then I got up super early. You know, old people talk about that crap. Um, but uh, yeah, it was just you know. I was running to the bathroom like I had, you know, those horses in the desert on the westerns where they see water and they stampede and the water's poison. Anyways. <sighs> thank you. Thank you. And I want to thank all. Thank you, Grandfather, for sharing the air. I breathe in, you breathe out. I breathe out, you breathe in, buddy. You breathe, thank you so much. Well, we got a little green on a couple of them. That one doesn't look good. I'll probably have to replace that, it looks like, which is sad. I love trees. I'm going to plant a couple more. Oh, man, anything to combat this, you know, climate change. I'm going to plant as many trees as possible. You know, got to do my part, so, you know. Anybody wants to send a nice tree out for me to plant, you know, let me know. www.cvaag.org. And uh, that's what's going on today. Look at the little puppy. He's checking it out. And there's another one. What up? There they are. Oh, I looked at them. I looked at them. Yeah, they're all like, what? What? What's going on? A little action. A little action. They're going to say hi to, to Ivy. Look at them. Aren't they cute? Do, 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 do. Hello, Ivy. Hello, Ivy. What doing? What doing, Ivy? She's such a good girl. Such a good girl. Get along with everything. Three years old, spayed, microchipped, heartworm negative. Yes, she came from Guilford County. We had this dog, Penny, down there. I tried to get a hold of it, but I didn't realize that they opened at noon. And I called. I haven't heard back. Um, you know, we want to see how she's doing get her done they called a couple times i called so anyways we're trying to get some transportation for penny uh but that's what's going on here that's the biggest worry i have is getting her out and i think this is absolutely gorgeous yeah look at that you know the universe provides constant beauty you know constant beauty that's the little wood bee. They burrow into the wood and stuff like that, you know. And then my hive is doing really well. And uh, some guys have hives uh, that came out to do community services. Son got a speeding ticket, and uh, they came out, and he's going to come. We're going to um, check on our hives um, uh, this uh, within a few weeks. Hey, Timber. Hello, Timber. Timber, 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 say hey, you bird killer, bird killer, bird killer, oh, baby bird murderer. But anyways, that's what's going on. You can donate today at www.cvaag.org. Um, life is good, you know. Uh, we thank you, Lou Thompson and uh, Colleen uh, Lanier, I believe it is. Let me see who has helped out with, you know, um, our, our corporate, one of our corporate sponsors. American Metal Treating, um, 
has helped greatly. Uh, you know, always, always, Brant Ram and those guys are just awesome people. Um, earlier this year, uh, let's see, who has helped that? Uh, that, that was right. Uh, 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 Linda Hancock, she's a monthly year donor, and her name is Colleen Lanier, wonderful lady, and Lou Thompson. They send in, you know, a nice donation each uh, for little um, uh, sugar. And, uh, you know, she, little sugar's costing a fortune. Uh, somebody asked, you know, like sometimes uh, when we've treated the young ones here that have had it, you know, the doctor come up and we get them all, you know, done. But, uh, you know, little sugar, uh, she's had, you know, 20 puppies, 11, and then, you know, then nine. And some of the first litter got shot by the neighbor when she got out and got pregnant again and on and on and on, just tragedy in that cute little dog's life. Um, so we're cleaning that up. The rest are males, sadly, you know, the, the other ones, uh, the ones that, you know, from the second litter, all the, one, all the females got homes, which is sad because, you know, they're gonna, they're, the puppies are out there, you know, making babies. We never let them go. Um, without being spayed, or at least I never have, and um, you know, uh, microchipped, heartworm negative, and stuff like that. So, but anyways, you know, little sugar's doing fine. Thank you, Colleen, and thank you, Doc Sharp, and the people that have donated towards little sugar's uh, well-being. And we're gonna get her done, get her in a home, and get the you know, because it's space is always at a premium here. And then once we get her go done and a couple of others in a home we can get the um, get her pups uh, that are now adult male dogs in and that's what's going on all the all of Gracie's and Mary's puppies have been done and they're in the home now um, and so we greatly appreciate that the mother out there with the puppies her name is Nix and um, so there's Nix and her four puppies and then uh, we have to get them done before they go. And then that's what's going on. We never let them go without being spayed or neutered. So that said, I'm off to help the animals. I came back in to make sure I got everybody's name right. Uh, yesterday, some really beautiful ladies uh, donated uh, towards sugar. And you can too at www.cbaag.org. I'm going to get my shoes back on and head out there in a little bit after Ivy's walked and we're going to walk Princess and uh, Pizza and then uh, you know Leash Walk we'll let them run around and then I'm going to um, Leash Walk uh, Little Sugar because we don't want her running because of her heart um, you know uh, it's after you after we do the injections and everything you know and that's switched um, years ago when I, I flew animals in with T. Boone Pickens, nobody in the desert knew um, about um, heartworm. And so everybody said, oh, he's bringing heartworm into the Coachella. No. How many people come from the south or from all over the United States to hang out in Palm Springs, go golf and bring their little dogs or, you know, the exodus to California now that California is exodusing you know, and on and on and on where their animals weren't, um, weren't ever uh, tested or anything. They just, you know, drove to California with their dog from the South, you know, and, and uh, but we didn't have the Western hole uh, mosquito that takes the microfloria from one animal to the other. It doesn't even live there. And uh, so everybody was all worried about that because nobody really knew about the heartworm, just, you know, the vets, treated other things like Ehrlichia, you know, tick diseases and all that desert stuff. And uh, it's, that's here too, you know. And uh, But anyways, what I was saying is, so everybody was all worried about that when I flew them in, you know. I'm doing something good, so let's, uh, you know, find something to fuss about. But anyways, you know, all those animals, um, before they ever hit the streets, were tested for heartworm and treated. So, you know, that's what we do. But here... Okay, back to what I was saying. <laughs> it's the coffee. Um, years ago, it was, you know, um, you gave them the prevention, then two weeks, and then the two injections, one every day, or two injections, you know, within 24-hour period. 
and then another two weeks of um, antibiotics, you know, doxycycline and, and everything. And then it went from that to a month, then back down to three weeks. Now they're injecting them in the, you know, in the beginning with steroids and antibiotics and pain meds and stuff like that. And then it's, you know, um, like the prescription said then, and then it's, you know, three or four months of prevention, which it'll finally, even after you treat it, they'll test positive for a couple months, but you keep giving them the prevention and all that stuff. Um, young ones, you don't need to do as much as you needed. We need, they needed to do for sugar because, you know, the, the hearts are sound, say an uh, eight or nine month old or, you know, under a year animal test positive for heartworm. They haven't had it that long, so they're stronger and there's less damage. But, um, you know, um, sugar was a great candidate for how we did it or how Doc did it. So, you know, the slow method doesn't work. Everybody's trying to cut corners and costs. That doesn't work. And um, on and on and on. There's a whole Heartworm Prevention Society you guys can Google and, um, and, and check out some more information. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you know, hit subscribe, like on the link below. But, uh, <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, I got on YouTube because I heard we could make money for the animals. Uh, we're everything for a buck rescue. You know, it just, it just, uh, the cost is overwhelming. Uh, if you want to, um, have a lot of money and live in a country club and, you know, go to, um, um, Belize every year, don't be an animal rescue guy. <laughs> But if you want to grow a garden for people and help a lot of animals and not take naps in the afternoon and wake up and do it early, uh, you can be a rescue guy. Uh, anyways, I'm off to help the animals, but yeah, I'm really happy little sugars uh, uh, with us and we look forward to a lot of good stuff. Anyways, I guess I went to on and on and on this morning and uh, again, I'm off to help the animals. Please donate today at www.cvaag.org. You can uh, make a difference. Be the change we want to see in the world. I'm off to help the animals. Love for all. Woo, woo. Look at Mikhail. He's a, yeah, that's right. Love for all. He's the one that was, I don't know, hit by a car. We rescued him from Wake. And he's got trouble walking. And, uh, yeah, he's such a good little kitty. Aren't you, Mikhail? Yeah, he walks funny. And when he rubs on you, it just kind of bounces in. Watch. Bonk. Bonk. Give me that tail. Give me that tail. He's such a good little kitty. Bonk. What, Mikhail? Bonk. Yeah. <laughs> One of our special needs animals. Love for all. Wee-wee.